Hello everybody. So in this video, we're going to look at enlarging objects on a grid using matrices. So in our first example, we've been asked to enlarge a rectangle, A, B, C, D, this one here, by a scale factor of two about the origin. And before we use matrices, I want to show you what this would look like using Desmos. So we have our object. If we draw a box around this and select transform, and then dilate, we choose the origin as the center, and then a scale factor of two, you can see we have the enlarged image, and we'll just label these points. Okay, so if we copy and paste this back into our presentation, you can see we have the object, which is the rectangle A, B, C, D, and the transformed image, which is a rectangle A, G, H, I. So when we use matrices to perform transformations, rather than transforming each of these individual vertices, it's much simpler to transform the unit base vectors I and J. We know that I has coordinates 1, 0, and J has coordinates 0, 1. And if we perform the same transformation and enlargement by a scale factor of two about the origin to each of these unit vectors, then we can create our transformation matrix. So when we enlarge I by a scale factor of two about the origin, this is transformed to a point two zero. When we enlarge J by the same enlargement, this has a coordinate zero two. So our enlargement matrix are the transformed coordinates of I and J. So we have I, 2, 0. We have J, 0, 2. And then to create this image, we need to multiply this matrix by the vertices of the object. So this is multiplied by each of the coordinates A, B, C, and D. We know A is at the origin. B has coordinates 0, 2. C has coordinates 4 and 2. And D has coordinates 4 and 0. And I'm going to use a calculator to perform this multiplication. And when we do this, we'll get the corresponding vertices of our image. Okay. So if we go to our calculators, we'll choose menu, option four for matrices. We'll define matrix A as our enlargement matrix. So we'll choose option one. This has two rows and two columns. The elements are two, zero, zero, two. We'll define matrix B as the vertices of the object. So we'll go to option, Define matrix, option two. It has two rows and four columns. And the X coordinates are zero, zero, four, and four. The Y coordinates are zero, two, two, and zero. So now we'll go back to option. We'll perform a matrix calculation. And then we want matrix A multiplied by matrix B. And this will give us our coordinates of 0, 0, 0, 4, 8, 4, and 8, 0. And we can check these using the image. 0, 0 is our A. 0, 4 is G. 8, 4 is H. And 8, 0 is I. So you can see this does give us the vertices of the image. Okay, let's try one more question. Okay, so in this question, we've been asked to enlarge the trapezium A, B, C, D by a scale factor of one third about the origin. And to give you an idea of what this would look like, I've transformed this for you. So we have our object and our image. 
and don't to try and use unit based form this transformation using matrices yourself. You can pause the video and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So we have our unit vectors i and j, and if we perform the same transformation on enlargement of scale factor one third about the origin, then our transform i coordinate becomes one third zero, and our transform j coordinate becomes zero and one third. So our enlargement matrix is one third zero and zero one third. And these are the images of i and j. Then we'll multiply this by the vertices of the object. We know a has coordinates zero zero, b has coordinates six zero, c is three and three, and for d we've got zero six. And when we multiply these together, we'll get the vertices of the image. And again, we'll do this using a calculator. So we'll define the new matrix, matrix A, and then we'll define the vertices of the object. We'll go back to option, option three for matrix calculations, and then we want matrix A multiplied by matrix B. So the vertices of the image are zero, zero, two, zero, one, one, and zero and three. You can see the origin will give us point A, two zero gives us point F, one one gives us point G, and zero two gives us point H. Okay. Well, I hope that's given you an idea on how we enlarge objects using matrices. Thank you very much for watching. If you found that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, midtermathematics.com.